All right, praise the Lord. Good to be here this morning. Thank God for his word today. Thank God for what he's doing in our lives. Amen. And we give him the praise, the glory today. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise this morning. We thank you. Thank you for this word. Lord, thank you for the Holy Spirit today. Glory to God. Thank you for utterance. Thank you for the Holy Spirit's help. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for it. Now, I plead the blood over every person here, over every person listening, viewing. Or that will be in the name of the Lord Jesus. We thank you that your will be done in their lives today. Thank you for ears to hear, eyes to see. We receive your word today, Father. We say it with our mouths and from our hearts. We receive your word today in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you for all. Thank you. Every need is supplied according to your riches and glory by Christ. Praise God. If you have your Bibles, going to look at... Now, last, if you're tuned in last Sunday, we talked a little bit out of the 11th chapter of Hebrews, now faith is, the substance, and so forth. I want to I look at one scripture here, and I believe today if you listen, that this will be a real blessing to you. We'll try to help you today. Praise God. Praise the Lord. And we will. It says, verse 2, 11, Hebrews 11 and 2. It says, for, well, let me read verse 1 with it. It says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And verse 2 says, For by it, for by it, the elders obtained a good report. By it, which is meaning by faith, they obtained a good report. Now, through faith, by faith, all these things we see in the Word of God. Now, I want to tell you today that from, the, from our very start, our very start of our walk with God when we're born again, the very first thing we have to do is believe the gospel. We believe in our hearts and confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus. Is that right? And that's the very start. And from, from that point on, everything that God has for us is received by faith. Now, God's a good God, and I, you know what? Sometimes I wish it was, I do sometimes wish it was just different. I would, well, Lord, if it's your will, then be done, right? Just be done, regardless of what I do, <laughs> regardless of what I believe. Just will of God be done in my life. But you know what? I find out it's not that way. If it was that way, it would be that way. So everything that God has for us, everything that God has done through Jesus. Now, let me say this. As far as God is concerned, it is done. It, what was accomplished through Jesus is done. There's enough grace to save the whole world. All you got to do is believe. If every person on this earth today, every person in unison at one time decided they heard the gospel and, and was going to believe on Jesus and said, Lord, I believe at one time the whole world could be saved. There's enough grace, there's enough power there to do that. And it's really already done as far as God's concerned. If they, okay, if the whole world in unison at one time decided, all right, we're all going to get together and we're going to say it right now and we're going to believe God, God wouldn't have to say, hang on a minute, let me do something first. Would he? Let me do something and so this can happen. No, it's already done. So it, it would be up, it's up to us. All the things that God has are received by faith. 
Now, it's by grace that they're allowed to come to us. It's by grace that we can have them. Amen? It's by grace and the goodness of God that all these things God has provided for us. But it's our faith that will cause us to receive them. In other words, God has made it available that he can meet all of our needs according to his riches and glory. Now, how many knows he didn't say anything about the world or its riches? He said his riches and glory. Amen? Praise God. Even though the Bible says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Praise God. Amen. Amen. 